What's going on, Soul Nation? Ginger Prime here with some breaking news. Delay season has struck again, and this time the victim is Cyberpunk 2077. And this is tragic, but also good. <laughs> and we're going to talk about it. You all called it, and this is what is happening. So just so you know, to catch everybody up to speed, they tweeted this out just a few minutes ago. We have important news regarding Cyberpunk's 2077 release date that we'd like to share with you today. Cyberpunk 2077 won't make the April release window and we're moving the launch date to September 17th, 2020. Now we are currently at the stage where the game is complete and playable, but there's still work to be done. Night City is massive, full of stories, content, and places to visit. But due to the sheer scale and complexity of it all, we need more time to finish this playtesting, fixing, and polishing. We want Cyberpunk 2077 to be our crowning achievement for this generation and postponing the launch will give us precious months we need to make the game perfect. So you should expect more regular updates and progress as we get closer to the new release date. We're really looking forward to seeing you in Night City and thank you for your ongoing support. Now this delay is massive. When you just break it down, that's a big jump. Jumping into September, now it looks like it's gonna be competing with Marvel's Avengers and personally, Thank you. Thank you, CD Projekt Red. Make this game something you're incredibly proud of. Obviously, much praise and lauds beyond you, especially for The Witcher 3 and more. Delays can be good, and you guys called it. You guys said that this was coming next. And there is a sigh of relief. And also, you know, there's always, like, you're looking forward to the game. You want to play the game. But when they appreciate it, this much to really give it the time it needs and like the old saying goes a delayed game is eventually good but a bad game is bad forever and why this doesn't necessarily take into account updates you can clearly see that when people want to play their game they really want it to start off with that best first impression so this is truly breathtaking <laughs> and as for all that meme is I'm really excited about this game. I'm looking forward to it. It's been on my list. It sold me. Yeah, and that's what one of the things we're talking about on our last live stream is that when a game sells you, like, I'm good. Like, I don't need to really worry about any other information, just where I'm going to play it at a later date. So bringing it into September, honestly, I think kind of takes a little bit of pressure off of April. And April was looking pretty big with Final Fantasy VII Remake next to this so at least i'm going to get some breathing room to be able to i guess fully enjoy final fantasy 7 remake i think chris and i are talking about him letting me borrow his playstation so i can i can play through uh, 7 remake which i'm really really excited about and we'll have to wait and see so what do you guys think about this news like are you looking forward to cyberpunk does this end up helping you out with your spring and even your fall lineup i know this is going to be a big hitter and the big question is how is this going to be impacted as we transition into the xbox series x and the PlayStation 5. Obviously, this is going to be right on the heels of the, the next generation. And yeah, that's going to make it interesting to see. Because if it's only a couple months away, will there, who knows what they're going to do. Hopefully, they make it right. Hopefully, they're designing it also is not just to be a crowning achievement of this generation, but the next. We've seen that happen as we go into these generations and as they bleed into one another. I'd love to know your thoughts, because if I could start this out on my Xbox and pick it back up on the Series X with like even more powerful visuals, like if it's going to be able to then compete with what the PC is able to do with loading times and more, I might I might put the work in on Xbox. That's just what I'm thinking right now. Anyway, love to know your thoughts. Thanks so much for watching this video. Like, favorite, sub, share. And you know what? Actually, if you feel like I've, I've earned it, do all those things. Otherwise, you know what? Don't worry about it. You do you. I love you regardless. Have a great day. Take care.